Hey guys, welcome back to another little short video. Well, we are back going again. There's a new tire. Doing what tires do best. Going in circles. <laughs> and so, getting this field here opened up, I'm driving back up here to the end row. And, um, yeah, I picked up a brand new tire for the inside tire. And so, um, oh, it'll probably, it'll, it may be late this fall and or this winter sometime. We're just going to go across and um, change tires. All the way across. Because not normally do we put just one new tire on. However, the other three tires are in good shape still. But um, uh, I hate mismatched tires. However, we just went ahead and put one new one on. That way, hey, we can keep right on running. And the diameter size is um, the same. And so, um, yeah, just thought uh, post a little short video here showing that, uh, yeah, we're back up going again. This field here is the second to the last field that we have to go on soybeans. And we're hoping that by tomorrow night we will we will be done. Wait and see. Because the way my dad's talking, I think on Wednesday they are calling for some rain, which we could actually use rain. These beans right through here are definitely good and green. Right right against this woods. But yeah, we're really dry. In fact, one of our landlords, he buried a, an old chicken house foundation for a neighbor of ours. And he told me that he dug down five feet with the backhoe and it was dry. He said once he got down to about six to seven feet deep, he started hitting moisture. And so, yeah, we're dry on top. And so here, here in a little, little bit, Dad's going to come back with the R52. We'll get this 40 acre, oh, it's about 38 acres knocked out. Then we'll jump over across that ditch and back that way to an L-shaped field. And um, like I say, that'll be the last field of soybeans. And that'll be it for the soybeans. So, hey. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.